Welcome to our virtual classroom on news media relations and on-camera training. A virtual classroom in many ways is just like a traditional in-person on-location classroom inside a traditional building. In this virtual classroom, you see and hear the instructor. In the case of John Billy Ramsey, along with everyone else in class, deal with a viral infection. The instructors are experienced veteran news broadcasters. I'm Russell Ruffin at the White House. Who've covered the nation's major news events. In this virtual classroom, students are shown video examples of good and bad media relations incidents from real-world cases. Ferguson, Missouri. Students discover how to create the right talking points for a particular news event. Then the students try their hand at holding news conferences and interviews in front of the rest of the virtual class. The threat appears to be over at the, the Walmart Supercenter. Everyone receives a helpful critique from the instructors. You want to answer in a self-contained answer that makes sense without people having to hear what the question was. For those who attend our media training class, the virtual classroom is every bit as interactive as a traditional in-person class. Being able to interact with the classmates virtually was, was a positive experience. I think it was actually better for me to have it online. Students are shown how to use transitions to keep their message on track. So just put one foot slightly in they front of the They discover how to project the appropriate body language and how to create a more powerful news release, among other things. Here is a video soundbite. When the media clicks on it, they can not only see it and hear it, they can record it and put it on the air. Hi, I'm Russell Ruffin. You may remember me as your instructor if you've ever attended one of my two-day news media relations and on-camera training classes. Since 2004, we have presented more than 600 of these classes at police academies, law enforcement agencies, and conferences all over America. We've held classes in 40 different towns and cities every year, teaching more than 12,000 students. I'm also the author of the book, Media Survival. It's now being used all over the country as a media relations training textbook. There are two of us who instruct the class, myself and Penny Carter. Penny worked with the Law Enforcement Training Network, and she was also a field producer for America's Most Wanted for some of the nation's high-profile cases. I've worked as a television news reporter for NBC and Fox and affiliates, covering everything from the 9-11 attacks to campus shootings. Today, both of us still go on location to breaking news events all over the country. It helps us keep our training up to date because we share what we learn with every class we teach. When the coronavirus became a worldwide pandemic, public gatherings were prohibited all over the country. We knew that would present a challenge for police officers who needed to complete their required continuing education classroom hours every year. So our course became the first media training class in America to completely convert our training into a virtual classroom. This was an awesome virtual training. Not a step was missed. Um, there was a lot of great information, great content. I credit that to you and to Penny. Um, I really enjoyed this class. I've never done a virtual class before. And I felt like I actually interacted with everyone on a face-to-face -face basis just as much as I would have in the class. So I feel like, you know, we all got something out of it and I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely, definitely appreciate it that we were able to do this online. We're in the comforts of our home. We're face to face with you guys. We're still able to do like um, everything that we did in the classroom, we're able to do on here. I really enjoyed you guys' class. It didn't lack anything as far as us not being in the classroom. We still had a lot of interaction. I learned a lot of things. You see that we're still here, but we're still hanging out because you know, that's how much we enjoyed it. So I feel like I got a lot out of the class. It was really enjoyable. Thank you. For more than 15 years now, we've been holding classes in person at your local academies and agencies. And now, thanks to modern technology, our virtual classroom training is helping students effectively communicate with the public and the media while fulfilling their continuing education requirements. Once the coronavirus has passed us, we will hopefully return to some sense of normalcy. And who knows, maybe virtual classrooms will be the new normal for all of us. But until then, we're all in this together, and we're going to get through this together. Good luck, and be safe.